Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. I'm Stu the Frugal Video Gamer, and yeah, I managed to sneak in a stream for this morning. And as the title of the stream is impl well, states, screw this noise in Pococohara. I'm heading back to the surface. Heading back to the surface and going to Hasongo instead. Because, damn. I got my ass handed to me in that fight. Buddy, what? You've been doing that all morning. And I gave you food, and I know you have water from last night. So back to the boat. Well, shortly anyway. Actually, I'm gonna go down here real quick just to see what is down there. Oh shit. I'll go down myself then. There we go. How's her athletics? One. Well, let's see here. Oh! Buddy, you've been doing that all freaking morning. You can stop now. Oh, maybe it's on. Maybe a pet will be able to give me athletics. To resolve. Healing done. Constitution melee. Okay, buddy. Seriously. Oh, nice.
Hmm. And nah. To athletics. Adair, look what the watcher's given me. It's pretty as a picture, ain't it? Oh, damn it. Yeah, I've got... Ah, crap. I spent all that time. Actually, what about Maya? Okay, there we go. Put this to good use. There we go. Athletics three. I'll help. Oop. This one's taking a bit to load. There we go. There we go.
Oh, actually, that's a lot quicker. Buddy, what is it, huh? You keep doing that. Alright, up to Hasongo finally. At least neither the frame rate nor the time disappeared. Atsura asked me to train a crop of new sailors. Guess the sharpshooting lesson was wasted. Should have spent that time talking about home. I'm sorry, Maya. We'll do whatever we can to avenge them. I don't get this at all. There was a Dawnstar settlement on Asango. The place got trampled just the same. I would hear it from him before passing judgment. I wouldn't mind if he stopped walking for a minute, let us know what he's up to. I'll tell you one thing. When we catch up to that unstoppable god statue, me and him are gonna have words. <laughs> Lava better be all right. I doubt anyone other than Aethys could have created that footprint. Up ahead. Oh, oh shit. Uh-huh. Uh, Adair, yeah, maybe come back from behind there. Too many. We shouldn't go in without a plan. Holy shit. So, anyone want to fill us in on what the Naga are? Wow, they even got the toes right. Paid attention to the toes rather than just have it be a slab of sure foot, essentially. Let's go. I don't know. She already did it. little crit there. Mm -hmm. Actually. Finality. Hmm. Urgent harvest. 
Hmm. How about a lantern? Ooh. Of course, I need luminous Adra mantle. Could have sworn I had that at some point. What do you want? A much better swordswoman than you. You haven't earned. Good, I was. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, you're adorable. Now quit cheering every two seconds because it it's a little off-putting. Oh. An Amawa woman whirls toward you, her eyes wide and wild. Her uniform is disheveled as if from several days' wear, and her breath comes in rapid gasps. With her are a few wounded soldiers and a hell of commoners in dirt-stained farmer smocks. Shut the door, quick, before the Nagi get in. It's all right. I'm here to help. We're the finest soldiers and cannoneers in Aora. We don't need anything. Yeah. Captain, two places I've seen that look. Healer's tents and exceptional brothels. This is neither. Wait. You're not the reinforcements. There there are supposed to be reinforcements. I come on the authority of all the powers in Nekataka. So... Was this destruction the work of the Valians? Or maybe a trick of the Huana Queen? I can see Rautai does little to educate its soldiers in logic. Do you really believe my countrymen had a stone titan hidden away for a rainy day? We know your animancers tinker and dabble with Luminous Adra. Do not play the fool now! We're never gonna get anywhere arguing like this. The first thing was the Colossus. It showed up a, a few days ago, a week ago, I, I can't be sure. But it was huge. Glowed like luminous Audra. That was Aethys. That monster that killed our people? I suppose he does look like a monster from down here. I told you, Zuhira. The Godhammer scrambled their god, and now he's taking his revenge. Our gods are above petty motivations like revenge. Now, Gon's got a bigger plan for you and me. It's no coincidence your Aethys shows up just as Latharn storms out. What? The Colossus was coming right for us. Fleetmaster Co. ordered the Gunhawks and Cannoneers to take up positions. We... They... They fought. Ah. Uh. The rest of us were sent below, like cowards. If you'd fought, you'd be dead too. What kind of trencher are you? We don't flee. We don't hide. I heard cannon blasts, artillery fire. Felt the world shake. Then the water started coming in. We came back up and the others were... I don't know. Like they'd been turned to ash. And the Colossus was walking away. The fort was flooding, where it had broken our walls, and the luminous Audra in the lighthouse had gone dark. What about the Naga? They skulked in after, once our walls were down. Those of us who were left fought. But those cowards moved through the sunken hallways. Ambushed us from below. You fought to the last. Take pride in that. When the Hazanui's reinforcements get here, we'll strike back. And build our walls back up so nothing gets through. And double our cannons. So we can destroy that Colossus if it ever comes back. Who's Latharn, and what do you have against these farmers? Dawn Stars. Fleetmaster Co. hired them to tend the fields that supply the mainland, but they started acting strange. Dreaming strange. You mean dreaming of things to come? One of them, Latharin, had a row with the Fleetmaster over it. Left angry just before the Colossus showed up. You're understandably upset, but let's not jump to conclusions. I think they're praying called it here. Getting back at us for the God Hammer. Even if not, they definitely know something. Uh, pretty sure you had no involvement with the God Hammer. That was all Magrin's temple. Spitting at our God? 
You ought to fear for the future of your soul. I is there anything else? <clears throat> Who are you? Zahira, assistant quartermaster. Where's the Adra Light? Where's the Sadra Lighthouse? On the western side of the fort. It's a true marvel, a monument to Rawatayan engineering. Proof we can tame and transform this place once we get rid of the scale bellies. This is a fortress. Surely you've got some way of fighting the Naga. The finest cannons and bombards in the archipelago. Why, you can barely walk the ramparts without... without... There's still one. There must be one. Th they can't all have been destroyed. But you'll need a trained artillerist to aim it. The big guns and me are on friendly terms already, Captain. <laughs> Don't go back out there. You'll be safe here until reinforcements arrive. Just stay away from the water. Damn scale bellies are hiding down there. Sometimes you can see them. It And I'll make a quick camp. Hmm. Since I've got plenty of the kelp. <clears throat> Happy to oblige? Uh huh. Okay, and I hit spacebar, but I'm not sure if it paused before or after. Okay, after. Still is a pond. Can't hide from me. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, withdraw. Oh boy. That could have been a lot worse. You were saying Okay. Getting sick of that shit. Thank God. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Good lord, those. B Good design on that encounter. I'll I'll admit that. Because yeah, that was very cleverly set up for an ambush. Smell of fatherly pride when you see a newborn? Getting my taste of it. Check for ammunition. Hmm. Leave it alone for now. Try and find some. Try and find some stuff that'll. Uh. Okay, cave grubs are in there, of all things. I am ready. I'm assuming this is down in somewhere. <coughs> oh. A distant light. Okay. Yeah, not gonna risk the ambush from the Naga. Quick save Wait, here. Look Whoa. there. I'm assuming the ammunition will be down here then. Your orders. Huh. Let's go. Okay, how is she missing? Skill is a pond. Not a problem, Captain. Looters. Enough black powder here to sink Dunwich. Load it up before them snakes come back. Happy to oblige. Onward. 
There we go. Afraid not, Captain. I've got this, Captain. Holy shit. Holy shit. Are you kidding? Sure thing. Huh. Let's keep quiet. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> The next one of you who takes aim at me? Really quiet now. Wait, holy look there. shit. Oh, hang on. I didn't even notice that door before. Maybe this is where the, uh, Ammunition is stored. And why is she flaming? 
I'll take care of this. Oh, in the darkness, one ready for raping. I see a soul you in the saying? darkness, one ready for raping. Yes, I shall. Diverus. Are the Rawatayans here to colonize the dead fire, or blow it all to pieces? Holy shit! I mean, holy shit, that, uh... That took care of him. Oh. Indeed. Well, a little late for that. I already did it. What if we here? <clears throat> All right, up to the top. Cross again. I probably could have just gone in the front door, but eh. Quick save. Crap, she still has the belt on. I forgot about that. Wait a minute. A fine prize to be certain. Of course. Agrasim. Huh. Okay, where the hell am I? saved there. Okay. Let's see what's up here then. I see a soul in the darkness. One ready for reaping. I'll take care of it. Heading back in there real quick. Because there was a Naga soul. There we go. Oh, crap. So, wait, how do I get to the one area then? Open, 
I'm listening. Workshop records. Well, well done. Let's go. I'll take care of I'm Moro. Finally, some peace and quiet. Just keep that bird away from my work. Stand down, Ishii. The man is doing important work. Slave sphincter, those snakes were noisy. I don't suppose you brought any extra parchment with you? The fortress is under attack, and you're worried about parchment. Of course. What else? Slowly, Aimuro. Can't expect them to know if you don't tell them. I'm writing it all down. My research, my work, something to survive before the next walk in Colossus, the next Naga warband. Do you need something? If not, I should focus. So much to do. Know where I can find shells for the bombard? Only one. Just a prototype. In there. Captain, I don't ask for much. I need to see this thing go off. <laughs> it is most impressive. You're welcome to it. I only ask that you compile notes on the blast radius, detonation temperature, smoke formation, debris trajectory. How do I get to the lighthouse? How indeed. Naga everywhere. Suppose <clears throat> your best chance will be up along the walls, west and south. But how to get there? Better perhaps to keep going south, around the edge of the fort, through Fleet Master Ko's office. More cover from the Naga. What happened here? What didn't? A colossus made of Adra marched through the fort, grew bright like luminous, and scores of soldiers fell dead. Incredible. If Aethas got to them first, then you can fit their remains in a pouch of white leaf. Then the Naga killed everyone else. Except Latharn, I suppose. Yes, Lathar? the last of Dawnstar fellow. Arrive yesterday. He's got to be acting on his dreams, trying to help our god. Zuhira survived, along with a few others. They should split up. Safer that way. Do you need something? If not, I should focus. Safety in numbers, eh? A comforting illusion. Let the others have it if they wish it. I must see that my work survive. I'll have it. All right. Oh, she's got regular swords. Actually, let's see. Do -do -do. There we go. That'll work a little better, I think. A little, anyway. I'm listening. Give me the order.
Poor Jyoti. Oh, jeez. Okay, what's her... So why is Jyoti always the one failing when she's got the same athletic skill as Maya? Huh. Weird. Alright, back into this one. of a soul twisting and sinuous it notices you too and draws nearer its restless essence tingles against your own it is searching hunting what is this <clears throat> come closer you glow so brightly just like the, the what were you searching for away the striped fiends profane the island Endlessly burrowing, building. They bury the Adra under stone. Sugan says we must find a way in. Sugan says I must find a way in. Who's Sugan? Speaker for the gods. Grandfather to many. He leads us here. And here I must find a way in. The fiends gather at the walls, searching to... Not for me, but they see me still. You died. No, not dead. Still searching. Stay a little longer. What are you looking You're for now? Away, I said. A glowing, shining way. The way glows like an anglerfish lure. But it I will follow the way, I think. But then I see another glowing thing. This one does not feel safe. Ah. Uh. Good sound design here. Now, there is no way and no light. I... I'm afraid. Come with me. It is too dark. I will lose my way. We'll restore the Adra Pillar. Then you can continue the on your way. Walk the way. I am. S oh. Okay. That's better. And I did not get ambushed, surprisingly. And I'm now curious as to whether this is the right call to use the bombard at all. I'm going to go up the cliff tops, I think. See what's up there. It's 
So they'd actually launched their attack either while Aethys was here or beforehand. Hard to say which. Actually, let's just go here real quick. Okay, nothing important. Careful. Look. Okay, Naga Patrol. Me too much, and I'll grow to like it. Yep, Maya. All right, fair enough. You were saying. Not a problem, Captain. I am curious. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. So grappling hook is my only option. Actually, let's see. Result perspective intellect. Plus two. Okay. That'll work. I hope. What do you think, Ishi? What can I do you for? Mm-hmm. Now try it. Are you... How did a dare fail? Wait a minute, his athletics is two, isn't it? Okay, grappling hook it is, because nothing is fucking working. And that is entirely too many injuries to deal with. Got it before they could spot me. So maybe I can talk with this Sugan. House is quiet, but for soft, sibilant whispers. There's a repetitive incantatory quality, quality to them. The sea striped fiends send you to uproot the tree of the gods, yes? Their blasphemy knows no bounds. 
Give the order, Captain. Or just nod. I'm not picky. So, the fiends corrupt even the sand-striped ones. Now I taste their stench on her. If you join them in befouling the Atra, then you will join them in death, too. They died honorably. Show some respect. They have received their due. As will all who plunder and profane the treasure of the gods. Go! Carry a warning of what you have seen to the other shufflers. I need to approach the Adra. Fool! See what the impiety of the sea striped fiends has wrought. The sand striped shufflers know better. But you others come, smooth toned or furred or sea striped, with blasphemous hunger. Now, foreign ones dig at these roots, and the deep hunter is with us no more. Now. The gods return to rain their punishment on these islands. Again. You're saying the gods have brought ruin on Deadfire before? Do your stories say nothing of the many disasters? Of the shuffler nests washed away like foam? Many generations ago, the sand striped ones built great hives across the islands and bastions around the Adra roots. Sand striped? You're describing the Juana. Their ancestors, yes. Their meddling displeased the gods. So the gods smashed their works with heaving volcanoes and crashing waves. So you think history is repeating itself? You shufflers are beasts of habit. You do not learn. You do not change. You cast off your sheddings by night, only to put them back on at daybreak. Ow. <laughs> in filthy, worn-out things. Um, that's just clothing. Our ancestors hid deep, where the waters quenched the fires and muffled the storms. They remembered while shufflers scattered. Now, the shufflers build again. The gods see. They will tear them all down. I'm a watcher. I can restore the Adra if you'll just let me near it. If your fat tongue speaks true, then give us proof. What would you consider proof? I tell you, thick tongues lie. Forked tongues do not. If what you say is true, then surely you can speak with the dead. I will believe your words, only if I hear them from the tongue of my own people. Hear this, Sugan. Yanas's bright, wispy form appears, and the other Naga pull themselves into tight, fearful knots. Only Sugan cranes, cranes himself forward, his head cocked. Sugan, I found the way. Yanas, you died. We saw. The way became dark, but this one brought light. We will kill the Shuffler and free your soul, Yanas. I'm trying to help. Do old scales cloud your eyes? The Shuffler glows like the God Walker, like the way. He will open the way. The gods give you power, yes. But is it enough? I've done it before. Approach. Restore the blessing of the gods to the Adra. Hmm? I shall. Heal the Adra Shuffler, if you can. Whew. Yeah, I'm glad I've resolved it peacefully. As your hand touches the dim Adra, you feel the same cool, pricking sensation that you did when you touched the pillar near Port Maje. You concentrate on the pillar. The world around you swiftly falls away, leaving only the vast emptiness of the in-between. The Audra and a multitude of golden threads undulating off into the distance. For a second time, you gather the threads in your mind and bind them together forming a solid tether that ripples out toward its distant anchor. Again, a crack sounds from the terminus. Your consciousness is violently pulled along the cord. 
You are prepared for the sensation this time, but are still disoriented when you come to a sudden stop. You find yourself standing behind a familiar titanic statue as it trudges through invisible waters, standing at Aethys's shoulder. Your soul is dwarfed by the massive god's form. Energy pulses along the tether, each wave feeding the Audra's movements. He stops. His head cranes behind him, again accompanied by the sound of stone shearing and buckling. His eyes rest upon you. He does not reach for the cord, but considers you for a long span of silence before speaking. Your first attempt to contact me was brave. This second attempt, is it born out of desperation or something else? Why do you continue to follow me, Watcher of Cad Nua? <laughs> I'm tempted, but I want to prevent you from causing any more harm. Though there is no change in his stone visage, there is a long pause before he speaks. That's a great challenge you've taken on. Why? Hmm. I've decided that it's my responsibility as a watcher. Aethys's great stone eyes consider you at length. Throughout history, societies have called watchers frauds and madmen, prophets and oracles. I have never known one to take on the burden of arbitration between mortals and gods. Good effects on the voice, too. Aethys becomes silent. You can sense his presence advancing back along the cord between you. His energy flows over your hand, tendrils of light probing into the air around you. They poke and prod at the silent lost souls hovering in your vicinity. You are in a unique position. In spite of the work of the Leaden Key and Hand Occult, you have seen through our facade. You know the God's true nature. Without the benefit of your knowledge, few mortals would be willing to accept the true history of their gods. After all, we weren't. The last time I walked Aora, I made a mistake in not revealing my true purpose. I believe you would understand it better than most. I'll just nod. Yes, I will tell you. But this is not the time. As I take this body farther from the lighthouse, the tether grows Damn weaker. Damn it. And I have already tarried too long. Soon this link will unravel completely. If I have not reached my destination when that happens, I will need to pull more souls from your world. Where are you going? I'll meet you there. The edges of Aethys's massive form blur and dissolve. The huge figure retreats from you. As it moves, the tether begins to rapidly unravel. As Aethys speaks, his voice sounds garbled, fragmented, and distant. If you would know more, find me at the Ashen Maw in Margren's Teeth. I must rest there before I begin my final work. When I leave that place, you will not be able to follow. Before I go, I should return some of this to you. I still have need of the great power of your soul, but I can spare you this portion. Wait, what? A pulse of energy moves back along the golden cord toward you. It feels familiar, comforting, even before it contacts you. The energy washes over you, flooding you with feelings and memories you had thought long forgotten until they settle back into the cracks of your soul. And then the tether and cord snap, Aethys's figure evaporating into dust that mingles with the endless gray expanse. Heat rushes over you, and the uncomfortable sensation of the Audra Pillar's presence cuts off. The gloom of the in-between is pierced by the light of the living world. Oh, and this is used as a lighthouse. Long have we kept 
peace with the sand-striped people. But then, the foreign ones came and spread, killed our people, built their hives everywhere. Shodori, you attack every foreign ship you see. The Juana may not like us, but at least they speak to us. We were sure the Godwalker came to cast them out. That driving them away was a holy mission. Slaughter is never a holy mission. Oh, honestly, yeah, the gods have bigger concerns than our feuds. We must learn to live together. Mm, but on whose terms? We must go. I know not what this means, but our brethren should hear of it. Not an option, Snake. Bet you were keeping count of how many good soldiers you fanged. Killing him won't bring them back. Well. Captain? Pace yourself. We have more important fights ahead of us. Aye, aye. Sir. You show us something new today, Shuffler. Thank you for this. Huh. And for your mercy. Oh, wow. Did not anticipate that. I'm here. Clearing your throat once and then again, Maya raises her eyes to yours when you glance over. Oh, um, you wanted something, Captain? You were the one trying to get my attention. What, me? Well, go ahead and say it. You're halfway toward all right. Just halfway? Is that really all? A captain is better than my usual slim pickings. Which is a bunch of lore college dropouts playing sailor. Hypothetically speaking, I mean. <laughs> have you ever... <sighs> Dumb question, but here I go anyway. You ever gotten close to someone, even though it just wasn't... ordinary? But God stepped on me once. Yeah, that about kicks the legs out from under ordinary, doesn't it? <laughs> what I'm talking about is a scenario where a difference in rank can get in the way of enjoying shore leave. Has someone been a very bad sailor? <sighs> this is like picking oakum. I'm just testing the direction of the wind here. Best not to overthink it. I'm the defiant. The captain gets to make the rules. Interesting answer. I like the sound of that authority. I've enjoyed that sort of arrangement before. Nothing to suggest I won't enjoy it again someday. Sooner rather than later, one hopes. Depends on what's in front of me and what's on the horizon, Captain. Well, I've laid out my thoughts. You must have a couple. Let's see where this goes. Be a pleasure, Captain. The funny thing is, is that Ishii can get particular about people. And when he doesn't take to someone, neither do I. What exactly does Ishiza look for in a special friend? I'm sure he'd tell you if he asked nicely. Not everyone's a bird lover. That's fine. Some days I can't stand another second of Captain Stink Feathers. But Ishii and I are never parted for longer than a few breaths. Take that however you will. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I'd like to speak with your bird. Try not to use any... Ah. No sooner do you bridge the distance to she's a soul than he turns his cold, mismatched gaze towards you. The force of his attention hits you like a whip. Well, this is unexpected. First Hondra, now you? Are any of the gods not spying on me through my crewmates? I can think of one. But was your question rhetorical? <laughs> oh, this is rich. <laughs> I can think of one. But was your question rhetorical? What exactly did you set out to accomplish by peering into the soul of this noble creature? Noble? Are we talking about the sh same Ashiza? Perhaps you don't know him as I do. You should already know better than to trust everything Maya has to say. True. The prospect of sharing her company. I can tell from here that it intrigues. <laughs> Far be it from me to judge affection. Better that it bloom or wilt uninterrupted. 
While the dead fire is being cut, cauterized, and trampled, it is charming to find someone who makes time for such elaborate foreplay. I answered your question, now you answer mine. What are you doing in Ashiza's soul? Observing. The one you call Ashiza makes for a convenient lens into your travels. Try not to take it too personally. What's your take on Maya? <laughs> Do you often turn to birds for relationships? <laughs> I think that Maya does not easily allow others into her confidence. She is observing you closer than you might guess. She has much on her mind. This may all be a whimsical diversion. That, or she is softening you up for the red work of her masters. I kind of doubt that. I think she's gotten a bit of a distaste for it. But you already know about that. That she's an assassin. Such a heartless word for an occupation which takes great skill to practice well. Ah, oh, I babble. What does the goddess of creativity know of kith courtship? Any advice that could help me out here? I can say for certain that this is a very hungry, overworked, and at times underappreciated bird. <laughs> He and Maya share that much in common, at least. Beyond that, I leave the rest up to you. I guess we're finished for now. Best of luck in your mating <laughs> Who's a good bird? Now that is what I'd call a happy bird. Thankfully, I had a lot of aged shark bait. Not to mention a fat bird. Pretty soon, I'll have to roll him around like a cask of ale. It's important to me that every member of the crew is well fed. Even the birds. Mark of a good captain, I'd say. Consider your performance noted. Performance? Was this just a test? You're talking to a competitive naval sharpshooter with a litter of brothers. Everything's a test. But you also fed my bird, which is just plain decent. We on friendlier terms yet? It didn't take you long to open up to the idea at first. I like that eagerness. Let's say you've graduated to achieving the bare minimum of my favor. <laughs> which is farther than most anyone gets. Where do we go from here? Well... Sorry. It's... I I'm not new to this. I'm just... Not used to sharing company longer than a single voyage. Ah. I can't say where this goes next. But I'm keen on where it is now. What do you look for in a partner? A man will do in a pinch, as long as their best thinking comes from the appropriate brain. <laughs> Women usually make for better conversation. Not that this isn't its own kind of charming. I just get a feeling about certain people, no matter their equipment. I usually go for the clever ones. Though they're not always clever enough to tell that I'm available. <laughs> what about you? What do you fancy? If the Avar was an indication, I go for heretics. That's... okay. Unusual choice. <laughs> We're all slaves to our own nameless want, aren't we? A man will... Do women, I don't care. I just get a feeling... I use... What about you? Oh, okay. What do you fancy? I myself unusually attracted to military sharpshooters. That right. We're all slaves to our own <laughs> nameless want, aren't we? I think we both want this as long as it's on our terms. It sounds nice when you say it like that. A little wholesome for my taste, but nice. However it pans out, thanks for taking the time. And for the bird food, I've got some answers. Okay, I think I'll stick with Maya Romance, because, honestly, I... I like her complexity. Boy, that was a... 
Very loud sound effect there. Poor Pelagina, she's the only one that hasn't leveled yet. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, they did retreat then. That's right. Keep slithering. You had another one of your talks there, didn't you? Are you gonna share details, or do we gotta guess? When the captain goes all starry-eyed like that, the crew starts to ask questions. You don't look like you're gonna be sick this time. So I take it that's a good sign? Man, this is not what I expected. Well, where's my god headed now? He's going to Magrin's teeth. That sound dangerous to you? Because it sounds dangerous to me. Don't lose your nerve on me now. What's he gonna do? Kill you again? Yeah, I guess he might. Not happening. Wonder if there are any other survivors. Unlikely, but... Yeah, I'm glad I was able to talk Maya down. I'll take care of this. Oh, letter from Latharn. Ah. Oh. They were building up for something. And my guess, they were going to use this as a staging point. For something bigger. They were going to expand into the rest of the Deadfire, I think. And maybe over the objections of the Juana. Uh-oh, oh, wrong one, wrong one. I guess I'll go medium shield. Well, hmm. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I'm thinking this has fewer loading screens. Okay, fewer loading screens, but it's gonna take a shitload longer. <laughs> uh, 
I remember this little soldier. Glad to see you made a friend. <laughs> This one's stealth and survival. Nice. Uh. Athletics. And history. Yeah, I'll go with extra planar ally. Why not? Range melee. Okay. Oh, I'll play dead. As long as the two are within four meters of each other, there's the rub. Eh, I'll go with that one, sure. Well, actually, yeah, engagement. And finally, a dare. Oh yeah, forgot I was actually on my way to talk to him. There we go. Do you need something? If not, I should focus. Damn it. Alright, and I think this... Well, yeah, once I leave the island, that's where I'll leave off. Again, 
Okay, that ain't working. Alright, now I'll do the bombard just to test it out. I'll slash blow away the rubble. the rubble. Glad I didn't do it while they were still there, though. I would have genuinely felt kind of guilty about that. Scale-bellied cowards! I knew they'd run! Look at our beacon. Even the Colossus couldn't destroy it. And those snakes aren't so tough now, are they? I think you mean good job. Of course, Trencher. But this is a victory for all of Rawatai. It's proof that our people can conquer anything. Oh, God. That our damn works it. can survive even here. The Hanzanui will want to thank you personally for your help here. And she should also know what we're up against. Where can I find the Hanza Hanzanui? She's usually at the Brass Citadel in Nakataka. Looking for a real challenge after what you did to those scale bellies? <laughs> the only thing I know about the place is it's supposedly made of fire. And no one's ever come back from it. But any clear skies. Ish. Light of Aethys be upon you, neighbor. Are you looking for survivors? Yes, actually. My friend is looking for someone we were told might live around here. A short lady, about my age. Came from Deerwood with her son. Uh, let's see. Freckles, braids, usually. Punches you in the arm if she likes you. Face, if not. Oh, and that's if you're lucky. No, that doesn't sound like anyone. Is there someone else we might ask? I don't think you'll have much luck around here. I know all my neighbors. We're in the right place. You must know her. She has a son about your age. You gotta be her son. Got her nose and her freckles. You don't have to lie to me, kid. I'm a friend of your mother's. She hiding from someone? Maybe an ex-lover who gave her the best night of her life? You're protecting her. We understand. No, I... I misspoke. Oh, forget it. Just just tell me something. Your father. You know him? I'm sorry. Who are you? I believe... <laughs> I'm close to saying that one. Relax. Adair's a good man. Likes animals. Lions, bats, and orlins, to name a few. Ish. Yes, I knew my father when I was very young. He was a man of strong faith. Have to be. You get a lava mad, you need a god on your side for protection. He was lost to us during the purges, which was how we came to flee here. So you met him? Well, that's, uh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. You had a dad. <clears throat> Where's your mother now? Got a lot of catching up to do. My mother is with Aethys. Meaning what exactly? She passed the veil a few years ago. A flu. It's possible her soul has taken a new body by now. But if she was truly blessed, she marches instead beside the Shining God. You lied to us. Said you didn't know her. Expect me to believe this now? Easy. He lost his mother. Funny, you wouldn't know where to look at him. I'm not lying. She's buried on the other side of that hill. How could she be gone? Don't be troubled by her passing. All souls that march with Aethys receive his warmth and light. What do you mean, march with Aethys? Aethys has come to us twice now. Even Oblivion couldn't slow his march. We shouldn't have opposed his first coming. He meant to rally us under his banner. Oh, I know a lot of dead deer woodens who will be relieved to hear that. We were vic we were victims of a quarrel of gods. And seeing what we've seen, it's hard to believe they got our best interests at heart. Aethys forced everyone to declare themselves as ally or enemy, nothing more. Now he marches again, and we have a chance to correct our mistake. Well, that's charitable. I would like to have joined him when he passed this way, but I was weak. 
It won't happen again. You seem confident in a god who's causing a lot of destruction. You can't build on broken foundations. Real change needs destruction. I trust my god knows better than I do. He knows truths I'll never learn. I got that right. <laughs> I was once lost. <laughs> True. I struggled as you do now. But the partisans of the Lighted Path have restored my faith in Aethys. What greater honor than to march in his vanguard? Who are the partisans of the Lighted Path? We began as children of the Dawnstars, separated from each other as we questioned our purpose. But then Aethys granted a vision to Gadarian Bosch. Bosch saw an illuminated path lighten the way through a black abyss. And he saw Aethys marching on the path, and Aethys bade him to march alongside. Not quite how I've been seeing it, but everyone's open to their own interpretations. And the Shining God told Gadarian Bosch to gather an army of the God's truest followers, and to prepare to lead it into battle. Oh boy. You'd think after getting blown up, he'd slow down on the battling. <laughs> Has this Bosch shown proof of his visions? Aethys himself has appeared in Deadfire in the form Gadarian Bosch foretold. That's more proof than any of his faithful could ever ask. What fortune to be given this opportunity. To know our god in the living world. Why did you lie to us about knowing Alatha? Gadarian Bosch warned us. Those outside the partisans may ridicule us and test our faith. Especially our old families and others close to them. Uh. We've learned it's best to keep to ourselves and those with open minds. Which relations and friends mostly aren't. How will you join Aethys when he marches beneath the sea? It'll be a great journey, but we're prepared. Gadarian Bosch knows the way. Who does Aethys intend to battle? We don't know. The end of the path hasn't been revealed to Gadarian Bosch yet, but to the faithful, it shouldn't matter. Gadar, did you get what you needed here? We can go. We'll be going. Hey, uh, kid. What was your name again? Baird. Right. This lighted path fellow, Bosch. Sounds interesting. There's some way I can meet him? Well, he's usually on the move, rallying followers. But the partisans of the lighted path often gather in the temple of Aethys in Nekataga. I am soon to go there myself, in fact. There's an adherent there, Ogna, who initiates new partisans. No doubt she'd be pleased to help you. Aethys needs able soldiers. Even in their elder years. Jeez. You should consider what Ogna has to say. It might speak to you. Farewell. Oh yeah, and there's a bounty in this area, right? Southwest of Asongo. Eh, two levels above mine, but I don't think that'll be a huge issue. Of course, then again, I've got a few that are my l What the shit? Um. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of expected. Asango is a mound of wreckage on the horizon where you see a dozen junk sailing towards you. Even at this distance, you can tell they're making good speed. Yep. What's this about? I'll say nothing. Actually, he might be able to give me sailing advice. Oh boy. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's Bena. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Add up to the water first. And quick save. Odds are I'm going to pay for this one. to oblige. Uh-huh. Yeah? You were saying? Oh, shit. Attack! Alright, I dare charge through. firing line there. Holy hell. I'll land the next one. All right. What the fuck is happening with that? This is gonna suck for me, but... Oh, 
thing isn't doing the job. Something stronger. Okay. Very nicely done. What's on your mind, cutie? Holy hell. Nomads bring a Dean. I like the look of this one better. Lone Vanguard. Oh. Oh, bonus deflection with allies. Hmm. Feigned retreat? Nah. Nah. Out of the column, tail of the column. But I like... Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, Skein. Isn't this brilliant? Captain, you were saying? Okay. So I got that done. So I've got bounties to turn in, two missions in uh, Aethys' temple. I'll go to Nakataka proper. Oh. Wait a minute. Hmm. I'm going up there. It's been a while since I've gotten into combat. Or naval combat. Easy prey. Hey! 
timing on my part. on both. That's the pay. Six damage to hole. Six to hole, six to sails. Four rounds. Oh, and I've got my alarm going off, so this will be the last thing. I'm going to close the gap and board. I think they were down to what, seven combatants total? Actually, I might be able to make it back to port. Once I do, I'll go into the Queen's berth, get a bunch of people swapped in that haven't been Ooh, yeah. Okay, I took out four, apparently.
the eyes. <laughs> All right, uh, crew's already good, I think. Someone suffered too. Someone suffered a cracked bone from the look of it. My cat is striking very weird poses while laying down here. Alright, let's get to Nakataka. Okay, so let's see. Who would be a good... Alright, he can go for Navigator then. And he'll go for Cook. Oh boy, and I re... And find yourself standing in the knee-high grass... Oh, damn it. ...of an endless field, with the day just falling into dusk. Okay. I... Okay, I've got about six minutes to spare, so this will be it. The grass still holds the warmth of late afternoon sunlight. But a chill breeze blows at your back, raising goose flesh down your arms. The churr and trill of night jars rises with the wind. The tolling of a single bell joins the chorus of birdsong. Okay, and Helia will be here. The sound surrounds you. Every stalk of grass bears a delicate silver bell on its end. Barath obviously is summoning. The chill breeze becomes a howling gale, and the tide of ringing bells sweeps you off your feet. Then, the earth falls away. The wind ceases, and you are sent tumbling up into the dark of the sky. Watcher. The voice of the pallid night shakes the earth at your feet. You have returned to Barath's realm. Your soul once more called to attend the wishes of the God of Death. Maybe try a door next time? Your preference has been noted. The you can't be certain, but you think you might see the barest hint of a smile oh. tugging at the edges of the pallid knight's lips. Were those doors there before? I genuinely didn't notice. Once again, you have spoken with the Child <clears throat> of Light. Tell me what you have learned. He makes for Magrin's teeth. Intriguing. The pal- Wow, attend. Tell me what your many eyes perceive. Her words ring out, and a heavy silence descends. In the silence breaks the murmur of countless voices. Yeah! They speak all at once in languages both known and unknown to you. Holy shit. In the space beside Barith, an eye blinks open, followed fast by several more. They are round, keen eyes of kith, the slit eyes of snakes, the small, dark marbles of birds, the bulbous lanterns of deep sea fish. Here we are. A figure walks through the cloud of eyes <laughs> as one might step through a door. They are well. This is the first interesting thing to happen in ages, and we do so love a riddle. The yes, figure it's... wears an Amawa's grin and the many voices beneath its own titter. Yes, it's so interesting when hundreds of kith die so Aethys can take a stroll. Some things must be lost to be found again. You knew that once, when you buried my scroll beneath the earth in Black Meadow. But it seems you have forgotten. We have read the book of your life, Watcher. It is heavy with the weight of your choices. And its pages are not unmarred by the blood of others. We see between the strings of the world. And Eovis is there, strumming them like a lute. His tongue is still, yet he sings of a coming joy. What tune he plays, we do not know. It is complex, ever shifting. One moment vibrating in harmony, the next in discord. Good job with the voice actors on that one because it cannot be easy to sync them up that way. A man strides through the door to Barith. Galloway. Behind him lope wolves. So is that Andra? And jungle cats whose long tails twitch with every step. Galloway. Abaddon must be arrives. And, and he brings with him the wild heart 
of Ayora's untamed place. Buddy. Fast on Galloway's heels. Yep. A small wave of seawater washes across the tiles. From out of the water rears a glowing lure. Then the head of a gigantic fish. The round black eyes of Andre <sighs> roll to meet yours. My gift bearers bring to me that which Kith most want to forget. And in their memories I see you as Wild does. You are the one who leaves chaos in his wake. You knew one of them once, my gift bearers. Maneha. She longs to forget and to help others do the same. But when given the chance to aid her, you did not. You are a capricious creature, like Aethas. Andre Aethas is nothing if not resourceful. I admire his nerve. In the changeling's voice, you hear the soft patter of rain on leaves, and the rush of... If his journey leads him back to us, he has proved himself worthy of return to the fold. Aethas does not return to us. He returns to execute some grand plan. We must stop him. The doors lining the walls of Barith's realm slam open in unison. So Abaddon and not sure who that is. Warped pieces of ancient armor and the remnants of discarded weapons roar through the doorways. They meet in the center of the room in a shower of sparks and form the vague figure of a man. Finally, a black a man made half of metal and half of ruined skin stands before you. The rounded metal of a well-worn shield makes up most of his skull, his right eye socket, and jaw. If Aothas has something foolish planned, perhaps we can turn him from that path and set him down a more productive one. Abaddon's words crash and screech together like long still gears forced to movement for the first time in centuries. Abaddon speaks with a child's naivety. Okay. Unfortunately, this is going to be it for now. I'm going to have to Alt F4 out of this. So, thank you for joining me, and I will be back later tonight because I do have something I have to get to. In the meantime, have a nice day, everybody.